Good morning guys, this is Hamza. Welcome to the channel and welcome to another beautiful day here in Houston, Texas. In today's video, I am going to talk about why entrepreneurs always finish last. That's right, I'm going to talk about the deep down difficulties that we entrepreneurs face on a daily basis and how we end up always finishing last. Now on the upside, I'm also going to talk about what the advantages of finishing last are. But before we talk about the upside, let's go back and talk about why entrepreneurs finish last and why I think a lot of entrepreneurs are actually stuck in a situation or a loop and they may not even be aware of that. So let me give you a little bit of background. So in the past few years, I founded five different businesses and one of them has not been super successful. I mean, I didn't end up losing any money, but I did not end up, it did not end up being a super success, right? And this is something that a lot of entrepreneurs really don't talk about. They don't talk about the struggles and what exactly an entrepreneur truly is. So to give you guys a little bit of perspective, let's go back in the mindset and think just like an employee. So if I were an employee and I'm working in a company, I would only be thinking about myself. That's right, I'm only thinking about myself truly. My position, my salary, my package, I'll do anything to get a couple of dollars more an hour or to get a better package or to get a better salary. I don't feel like employees really have a strong loyalty in working for their companies and really looking out for the company. I truly believe that everybody is looking out for themselves as an employee. And when I say looking out for themselves, please don't get me wrong, it's not all about money. Sometimes a person just wants to learn, right? So if they're working for a larger company, Sometimes the purpose of that is purely educational. They want to learn and one day do something themselves or they want to learn to better themselves and acquire a new skill set. That is still self-interest. That is still looking out for themselves. And so that is really truly the employee mindset. Now a lot of people watch different videos on YouTube, on Instagram, on Facebook and see these overnight successes. You know, those ads that pop up of people all of a sudden opening an Amazon FBA store and becoming multi-millionaires over, overnight. Well, guess what guys? I really don't believe those are real. The reason those ads are up there is they're trying to sell you something. I doubt those guys became a success overnight. I'm pretty sure if any of them were truly successful, it did not happen overnight. And they probably had to work really hard to get to where they got to. Over the past five years, I have been working extremely hard here in Houston, Texas to run my businesses. And I think most entrepreneurs go through that. Most entrepreneurs have to work hard. Like some of them have to work hard for 10 years, some of them for five years, some of them for three years, but there's always hard work involved. So most small businesses or small ventures fail there is a 50% chance of a small business failing in the first two years and there is a 60 or 65% chance of a small business failing in the first five years. The chances of failing in the first 10 years are even higher than that. So that means the chances for success as an entrepreneur are already against you. And so in today's video, I wanted to cover all that. That's really why entrepreneurs end up finishing last. When you're working for somebody, you're actually working for yourself. Truly, you are. You are looking at self-development, self-improvement, self-interest. That means a salary, a better package, a better position. You are, end of the day, truly looking out for yourself. Now, once you become an entrepreneur like me, what happens? You are thinking about everybody but yourself. Sorry about that. So you are literally thinking about everybody but yourself. What does that mean? You're thinking about your team, you're thinking about payroll, you're thinking about your office rent, you're thinking about your car lease, you're, th you're thinking about who your next client is gonna be. You are just constantly thinking about other people. You're thinking about your vendors, you're thinking about your suppliers, you're thinking about if things don't get done on time, delays, right? All that is truly on you. The business is you. And you are now an entrepreneur, not working for yourself, but in fact working for others. What happens to entrepreneurs who are in a money crunch. Guess what? They get paid last. Their teams get paid. Nonetheless, the entrepreneur always takes the hit, right? So what are we banking on? We are banking on the long term, the long run. That is what us entrepreneurs bank on. To me, it is totally worth it to struggle for five years, but then after five years, have my own thing, 
and have the business that I've always dreamed to have. To me, that risk is worth taking as an entrepreneur. But a lot of people don't understand that. Success really doesn't come overnight, guys. And if you believe that success does, look at the statistics on failing businesses in the first two years. Everybody who you think is successful today, guess what? Had to work hard, had to struggle, had to give up a lot of their things to follow their passion, had to take risks. And that is truly where success comes from. Now, the interesting thing about all of this is some entrepreneurs don't even realize that they end up finishing last as entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurs who are just starting a business or who have a business that's going through some sort of financial challenge, guess what? They end up paying themselves either very little or they end up paying themselves very last. And that is just the fact and the reality of being an entrepreneur. You want your business to grow. Even when your business does grow, guess what happens? The entrepreneur takes the money, reinvests it in the business. It's very rare that you're going to look at an entrepreneur pulling money out unless the business has now scaled and has come to full vision of what the entrepreneur had initially imagined, right? So for me, for example, every time I make a little bit of money, guess where it goes? It goes back into the business to grow the business, to take it to scale, because that's really what I'm interested in. I'm interested in scaling the business, not making the quick buck, but growing the business to a point where now it is fully sustainable and it doesn't need me anymore. That is what I'm looking at. And guys, that's just the reality of being an entrepreneur, right? It doesn't matter how big your business is. Most entrepreneurs think the same. The business always comes first. All right, guys, I'm in the office. I have to park, get to work. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I will see you guys next video. Take care.